2 Samuel 17 And Akathophel said to Absalom, Please let me choose twelve thousand men, and let me arise and pursue Daud tonight, and come upon him while he is weary and weak, and I shall make him afraid, and all the people who are with him shall flee, and I shall smite the king alone, and bring back all the people to you. When all return except the man whom you seek, all the people should be at peace. And the saying pleased Absalom and all the elders of Yisharal. But Absalom said, Now call Cushai the archite also, and let us hear what he says too. And Cushai came to Absalom, and Absalom spoke to him, saying, Akithophel has spoken according to this word. Should we do as he says? If not, speak up. And Cushai said to Absalom, The advice that Akithophel has given is not good at this time. And Cushai said, You know your father and his men, that they are mighty men, and they are as bitter in being as a bear robbed of her cubs in the field. And your father is a man of battle, and would not spend the night with the people. See, by now he is hidden in some pit, or in some place. And it shall be, when some of them fall at the first, that whoever hears it shall say, There has been a slaughter among the people who are following Absalom. And even he who is brave, whose heart is like the heart of a lion, would utterly melt. For all Yisharal knows that your father is a mighty man, and those who are with him are brave men. But I advise, let all Yisharal without fail be gathered to you, from Dan to Barsheba, as numerous as the sand by the sea, and that you yourself go to battle. And we shall come upon him in some place where he is found, and fall on him as the dew falls on the ground. And there shall be left of him, and of all the men with him, not even one. And if he withdraws into a city, then all Yisharal shall bring ropes to that city, and we shall pull it into the wadi, until there is not one small stone found there. Absalom and all the men of Yisharal then said, The advice of Cushai the Archite is better than the advice of Akithophel. For Yahuwah had established to nullify the good advice of Akithophel for the sake of Yahuwah bringing evil upon Absalom. Cushai then said to Tzadok and to Abiathar the priests, Akithophel has advised Absalom and the elders of Yisharal such and such, but I have advised so and so. And now send hastily and inform Daud, saying, Do not spend this night in the desert plains of the wilderness, but pass over without fail lest the king and all the people with him be swallowed up. And Yehunathan and Akimatz were stationed at Enrogel, and a female servant would come and inform them, and they would go and inform King Dodd, for they could not be seen entering the city. But a youth saw them and informed Absalom. So the two of them went away at once and came to a man's house in Bakarim, who had a well in his courtyard, and they went down into it. And the woman took and spread a covering over the well's mouth, and spread ground grain on it, so the matter was not known. And the servants of Absalom came to the woman at the house and said, Where are Akimatz and Yehunathan? And the woman said to them, They have passed over the stream of water. And they looked and did not find them, and returned to Jerusalem. And it came to be, after they had left, that they came up out of the well, and went and informed King Dodd, and said to Dodd, Arise and pass over the water quickly, for thus Akithophel has advised against you. And Dodd, and all the people who were with him, rose up and passed over the Yarden, and by morning light not even one remained who had not gone over the Yarden. And Akithophel saw that his advice was not followed, so he saddled his donkey and rose up and went home to his house, to his city. Then he gave charge to his house and hanged himself and died. And he was buried in his father's tomb. And Daud came to Machanayim, and Absalom passed over the Yarden, he and all the men of Yisharal with him. And Absalom appointed Amasa over the army instead of Yoab. Now Amasa was the son of a man whose name was Yithra, an Yisharalite, 
who had gone into Abigail, the daughter of Nakesh, sister of Tseruiah, Yoab's mother. And Yisrael and Abshalom encamped in the land of Gilead. And it came to be, when Daud had come to Machanayim, that Shobi son of Nakash from Rabbah of the children of Ammon, and Machir son of Amiel from Lodabar, and Barzillai the Gileadite from Rajalim, brought beds and basins, and earthen vessels, and wheat, and barley and flour, and roasted grain, and beans, and lentils, and parched vegetables, and honey and curds, and sheep and cheese of the herd, for Dod, and the people who were with him to eat. For they said, The people are hungry and weary and thirsty in the wilderness. 